welcome students in class 9 we have done the first part of mensuration now today we are going to do the second part of mensuration that is circumference and area of a circle you have done the first part now let us today discuss about the circle you have the idea of a circle now this is the center p is any point on the circumference this this outer boundary is called the circumference you know that and p is any point on the circumference now this distance that is from the center to the circumference this distance is called the radius of a circle now uh, there is a new word that is pi what is pi pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter so circumference ka diameter okay that is called the pi now the approximate value you won't get the correct value the approximate value of pi is denoted as 22 by 7 that is 3.14 okay now now the circumference of a circle is given as 2 pi r where r is the radius area area of a circle is given as pi r square pi 22 by 7 or 3.14 according to the sum in the sum it will be mentioned if it is not mentioned you take it to be 22 by 7 if it is mentioned 3.14 then you have to take 3.14 So circumference is given as two pi r, and the area of the circle is given as pi r square. Next, if it is a semicircle, we come across semicircle. From the word semicircle, you can understand it means half the circle. That is, if you draw the diameter, this is called the diameter. Q. Okay, diameter is P Q. So in case of semicircle, if you consider the circumference, circumference is given as half into two pi r plus two r. What do you mean by circumference? That is outer boundary. If you have a semicircle, the outer boundary is this plus this. Okay, the outer semicircle plus the diameter. So half into two pi r plus two r. That is given to be pi r plus r two r. So take r common. That is pi plus Two R. This in case of semicircle, this will be the circumference. Now area half into pi r square. Half into pi r square is the area of the semicircle. Next. circular ring now in case of circular ring you can see there will be an outer boundary and an inner boundary so the outer radius is capital r and inner radius is equal to small r this is a circular ring i'm shading it this shaded portion is a circular ring The outer radius capital R, inner radius is small r. 
So the thickness, so the thickness is given as capital R minus small r. Okay. Area of the circular ring, area of the circular ring is given to be pi capital R square minus small r square. Area of the capital ring, circular ring is given as pi capital R square minus small r square. Okay, this is all about circular ring. Quadrant. From the word you can understand quadrant means one fourth of a circle. That means if you draw in this way. Okay. Quadrant. Circumference. Circumference means outer boundary. So, one fourth 2 pi r plus 2 r. One fourth 2 pi r plus 2 r. So, it can be taken as half pi r plus 2 r. That is pi by 2 plus 2 r. So, this is in case of a quadrant, you deduce the circumference to be this. Next. Area. One fourth. Pi r square. One fourth pi r square. Is the area of a quadrant. Okay. Next let us take an example. Now my question is, there is a circle whose radius is 7 cm and a square, ABCD is a square which is inscribed inside, that is inscribed means inside, inscribed in a circle. Now you are, you are, the question is, find the area of this shaded portion. So let us start. Area of the circle. pi r square that is 22 by 7 into 7 square 22 into 7 into 7 by 7 154 centimeter square this is the area of a circle now let one side of the square be small e so using Pythagoras theorem, you can write a square plus a square is equal to 14 square. This is 7, so the total length is 7 plus 7, that is 14. Therefore, the area of the square is 98 centimeters square. Therefore, area of the square 
is equal to 98 centimeter square. Hence, the area of the shaded portion is equal to 154 centimeter square minus 98 centimeter square. Fifty-six centimeter square. Fifty-six centimeter square. So this is how we get the area of the shaded portion. 